Mighty Then My Roll of Chums, it is I, Daniel. You may call me the Pop Culture Dude, and I gotta say, thank you guys for making me reach 2,000 subscribers already. Like, as fast as the speed of sound, that is nuts. 2,000 subscribers, and the fact that my Sonic movie sequel video has been gaining a whole bunch of views less than 24 hours. So, for those of you who are new to the channel, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And now, let's get straight to the latest news related to Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Alright, let's start things small and simple, alright? So, if you guys remember the iconic baseball scene in the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie where Sonic wants to connect with friends with other humans, but he can't since he's a blue hedgehog and he doesn't want to get in trouble for that. So, we're going to revisit the scene again that's been posted by Kitsui. A scene of Tails playing baseball has been filmed in Surrey today. That leads a conversation with these two Twitter users as they replied, NP, they had an epic Sonic the Hedgehog baseball game in Surrey today, LOL. If only my jaw didn't keep getting in the way, lol. Tails was that bad, hashtag Sonic 2. I really hope there are somewhere tomorrow that I can get to after 3 p.m., lol. So, you're definitely telling me that Tails would be involved during the baseball scene. It definitely reminds me of that one episode of Sonic X where all the Sonic characters were playing baseball, and Tails was literally holding a baseball bat, so it reminded me of that. But other than that, it's a huge homage of the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie where both director Jeff Fowler and the voice of Ben Schwartz, Sonic the Hedgehog, says this is one of their favorite scenes because it develops their own version of Sonic the Hedgehog as he displays his personality, his emotions, and where he's basically playing baseball as himself as the baseball batter and the pitcher and the coach and eventually goes like in the South Ball, Green Hills, also Sonic, headed to the guy left, he's a real space case. So it's a pretty fun scene but also an emotional scene since Sonic basically has like no friends and he doesn't have anyone to high five with which was his redeeming arc where he can't stand over his loneliness but now since he made friends with tom and maddie and actually got that high five he wanted now since tails is eventually going to be introduced in the sequel where he's literally looking for sonic with his miles electric device where he's tracking the device to know where sonic is now i'm assuming this is going to take place in the very beginning where it's going to be very peaceful for sonic and show Tails how to play baseball and I definitely gonna think it's gonna be a heartwarming moment between Sonic and Tails becoming good best friends or a brotherly bond. Speaking of Sonic the Hedgehog, we even got his voice Ben Schwartz who eventually post this tease on Twitter. On day 3 of quarantine in Canada, I'm not allowed to leave my apartment until day 14. Think about starting Game of Thrones for the first time. <laughs> not gonna lie, I definitely am behind that series so you're not the only one Ben Schwartz. But I think it's really cool that he eventually says that he'll be working in Canada. So, there's this one user that says, just play some video games and Ben responds, I brought a whole bunch of video games with me. Ah, does that mean he's gonna be voice recording lines for Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Huh? I mean, he did say bring a bunch of video games. He has played Sonic games before when eventually he got cast as Sonic, but there's this one user named Rachel decided to respond to this. Space Force Season 2 is filming up here. I'm like, oh, it's for Season 2 of Space Force? It's my best guess. They announced a couple of months that they're going to film in Van and Spring and Jimmy O. Yang is up here too. Ah, I see. That will make sense. I mean, if you look at Ben Schwartz's bio on his tour, it definitely says coming soon, Sonic 2, but also Season 2 of Space Force. If you don't know what it is, it's a comedy Netflix series that features Steve Carell, John Malkovich, and even Ben Schwartz himself, which are created by the same group that give us The Office and Parks and Recreation, which was Ben Schwartz, John Ralphio breakout role, The West, just to put a little bit of impression of it. So if he is teasing the work for both Season 2 of Space Force, but also voice recording lines for Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Canada, Vancouver, it definitely makes sense that they are still currently filming more scenes at Fort Lagley where they're filming all the scenes for Vancouver. I mean, after all, Ben Schwartz usually gets his lines when the live action scenes are nearly clear to be done. He does visit the set like three times in the first movie, so if it's eventually like he's going to record his lines for the second movie, then that's going to be great. Besides, he did say the script is totally amazing and awesome, so I'll be looking forward to that since we do see Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles in an action sequence by the Gun Soldier. And speaking of the gun soldiers, let's get straight to that news. So if you guys remember from my last Sonic Movie 2 news video where we definitely see these crowd of gun soldiers and civilians of Green Hills running away from a big danger, and I did collaborate with Blue Bolt who came up with his theories of what could this possibly mean? Could this be Dr. Robotnik's Eggmobile? Could it be more upgraded Batniks? Could it be Metal Sonic? Could it be Death Egg? Could it be Chaos? I don't know, but we know for Involve it's Dr. Robotnik who's eventually causing this destruction and casualties in the town of Green Hills as he's flying up to the sky and I even theorized where the gun soldiers are literally just getting away as they retreat with this flying paper in the background which I assume it's CGI it's definitely something involved from what Dr. Robotnik would do with his machines but I got some very interesting on-set photos and videos I cannot tell if this is considered to be spoiler-ish but I you have been warned to be spoiled so if you don't want to see this you might want to click off this video but for those of you who want to see it enjoy it
Okay, so let me get this straight. You have these gun soldiers literally running around as they're trying to escape, and we definitely see this huge fan again blowing the winds of all of these papers and objects flying everywhere. That fan has a huge significance for all the gun soldier scenes, but at the exact same time, it's the exact same fan that we see when Dr. Robotnik was flying up to the air. We even get to see a shot where all these gun soldiers are using their weapons held high to the sky as they're being prepared to shoot at something. And I'm thinking, is it the Badniks? Is it one of Dr. Robotnik's biggest achievements? Like, is it going to be uh, Metal Sonic? Is it going to be the Death Egg Robot? I don't know. But the point is, we definitely see that the gun soldiers are eventually pointing something in the sky with their weapons. And it doesn't just end there. We actually get to see our first look on set photos of actually seeing the gun badge, which is Guardians United of Nations, with this commander. And I'm assuming, is this Commander Walters from the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie that hires Dr. To Robotnik as the scientist to track down Sonic in the first place, and Vincent just says, Neither can I, but we have no choice. And the fact I'm like, is it him or is it someone different? He kind of looks like Liam Neeson. <laughs> if you know what I mean, if you find Sonic, I will find you and I will kill you. It will be pretty funny anyway, but what if he's actually the commander from the Shout the Hedgehog video game, or he could be from the Archie comics because he does have the same name, Abraham Towers from the Sonic Archie comics, where he literally is the commander of Gun, and he happens to be related to Maria, which eventually was connected to the Shout the Hedgehog's past. Now, we know for sure that Gun actually has like a big significance in uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie sequel, and the fact that it does carry elements from Sonic Adventure 2, right? So, if we definitely see a commander with the GUN uniform and the badge around, and they're definitely wearing COVID masks because, you know, they're filming this during the pandemic. I'm just very curious, like, what are they doing in the scene besides Tom Maddie being, like, escorted out of a helicopter and Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles entering the scene? It's like every major character is having a big involvement in the scene of Fort Lakely since they should be wrapping up, like, later on today and early in the morning of April 24th. So, yeah. But also, we get to see this Instagram user eventually show us a nice tour of Sonic the Hedgehog Chalk 2 on set in Green Hills for Langley. For staying in your health area, uh, health region, but no, it's actually a movie. Sonic. The movie is Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and it looked crazy when we first rolled in. That the entire street blocked off. <laughs> we were looking for Jim Carrey because Jim Carrey was in Sonic 1, but uh, we haven't seen him yet. <laughs> Um, yeah, we just filmed an episode at the Trading Post. If you've ever been to the Trading Post in Langley, I'm sure lots of you have. And uh, yeah, they've got some incredible vehicles out here. So they had guys actually on top right there. You, you can't see the machine gun, but they had the machine gun hooked up. And uh, they had a guy standing at the top. Looked pretty awesome. He was definitely not kidding about the gun soldiers being on top of the tank. We even get to see a little bit more on set photos of the Mean Bee Coffee Shop with a little bit more of the gun soldiers. But my personal favorite image is we got our product places as none other than the United States Postal Service. Kind of similar for where we got Olive Garden and we even got Zillow and a couple of product placements. We actually got a mailbox. Who used mailboxes this day in 2021? We could just easily use email in them. But big missed opportunity. They had to use the Sonic drive through as a product placement and it'll definitely make a lot more long sense. So either way, hopefully they're eventually going to wrap up all the scenes at Fort Legley at Green Hills, and I'm expecting next week they're going to be filming in Hawaii because Hawaii is definitely going to be one of the biggest major set pieces, and I'm curious for what Hawaii is going to be about. I'm assuming it's going to be Angel Island since Knuckles is in the sequel, so... Why not? It'll definitely be a big missed opportunity. They won't even use Hawaii as the setting of Angel Island. But anyway, that's just all for my speculation. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next Sonic Movie 2 news video. Take care now. Bye-bye then.